Hey guys, it's Robin with Robin Stampin' Hood. Sorry I am running a little bit late. We got crazy going on at our house. Um, I'm going to give it a second here. I'm going to get online, make sure on my laptop that you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. Hip, hip, hooray. Here we go. I don't know. Here I am. Um, for some reason... Happy Memorial Day, you guys. Um, I guess that's not really happy, but it's happy for us that we have the freedoms that we have. So I'm liking that. All right, let's see here. Let me see if I can <laughs> make this bigger. Oh, Facebook keeps changing stuff, you guys. It's making me nutso. Hey, Glenda. Hey, Michelle. Okay, I'm trying to see... See, they've totally changed the way they've done this now. But I'm glad I can see kind of what you're seeing, I guess, because I'm not doing anything. So, so sorry I am late. Um, we have a little crazy going on in our house, unfortunately. I think I told you this a couple weeks ago, our, our one dog. Oh, excuse me while I dig in my trash. I dropped one of the pieces I need to show you. Okay, found it. Um, one of our dogs is, has cancer and, you know, unfortunately it's not the best going on. We're trying to keep him comfortable and he, now he's not wanting to eat. So yeah, I'm a little bit of a mess and I'm like, I'm the ultimate mama bird. You know, I'm putting food in my hand. Come on, baby. You want to eat some? You want to eat some? And he'll eat a little. So that makes me feel better, but he's still, he's still not doing as good as he we would like him to do so put him in your prayers ask you know i'm hoping that it won't be horrible for him but we'll definitely have to have some discussions okay so that's that's my sad story but i'm back from maui super super excited hey jamie happy memorial day yes you know i have two um my niece and my nephew are in the service. One is in the Air Force. She's been in now for a couple of years because she graduated from Badger in 2019. So she's been over in Okinawa, Japan. I think she's coming home in the next couple months, though. Um, she actually got married while she was there, too. And then my nephew is in the Army, and he's actually in Tennessee, stationed in Tennessee right now. So... Um, they're really, I mean, other than my dad being a World War II vet, um, it's kind of skipped a, gen a bunch of people in our, <laughs> in our, in our house. So I so appreciate our freedoms that we have. So anyways, let's do some happier stuff, right? No dying dogs or stuff like that. But so some of you have graduates coming up, whether they're grandchildren, nieces, nephews, daughters, sons. As you may well know, I have a daughter who is graduating from high school on Thursday. And I started thinking about, oh my gosh, I have to make her a card. What am I going to do? So um, this is not my idea. I got this. I'm going to see if I can see comments. Um, hello, Cindy. I see Jamie, Roxanne. Oh my goodness. This, like I said, Facebook keeps changing things on me and it's annoying. So I'm not sure how to <laughs> bring you guys back the way I need to see. So I might not see your comments right away, but please do comment and share away. Um, so, okay, I'm back from Hawaii. Thank you everybody for supporting me. Um, Maui was beautiful. If you didn't see um, my daily blogging if you will on Facebook I'm so bad about updating my blog but I did do it on Facebook so go back and look at pictures I have some videos Stampin' Up! totally spoiled us yes I have the holiday mini catalog in my hands and this year I'm going to do four count them four Christmas card classes there's just too many cute things for me to even try to decide what to do. So I will go and start scheduling those and we'll do some online like we did last year as well as in person. So 
but I don't have all my details worked out yet. But there you go. Today is the last day if you want to join my team, the Craft Pots. Um, I've actually had a few people join this month. Actually, three people join my team. And that would be Kathy out in Colorado and um, Mary Beth. And let's see, I had one other person. Oh, my gosh. Who was it? Oh, I've totally lost my mind. I'm blanking, blanking, blanking. Oh my goodness. I apologize if you're watching. So I'm super excited because my team's growing and I just love this, you guys. 20 years in August, you you need to come join, join the fun side, right? Okay, so today's the last day for that. I have a new hostess code if you are going to order this month, which I would super appreciate. Oh yeah, before I forget, last chance list starting tomorrow for the mini catalog. You get, see, I got my little thing circled. Uh, lots of 50% and 40% off of things. Um, there's ribbon, there's those heart charms, um, dyes, uh, lots of stuff. So go out on my website on the Robin Scherzer Stampin' Up.net and you can pull this up and it goes in effect tomorrow. So, and it is while supplies last, but look at all the 50% off, you guys. There's lots of ribbon, there's the ladybug tr trinkets, um, there's stamp sets that are 20% that are off, uh, the Golden Garden Designer acetate papers, 50% off. There's lots of stuff, you guys. Um, so go out and take a look at this and get ready to place your order because, you know, it will go really quick, right? So this will end, let's see what else. I have like little things circled I want. Oh, this uh, snail mail twine combo pack. That's the pink and the, um, the white. That's always a good thing to have. So take a looky loo at that um, because who doesn't like a good deal, right? Okay. All right, are you ready? Let's make this cute graduation card, you guys. So if you know I'm from Elkhorn, our colors are uh, purple and gold. So I thought these were good colors for it. Um, in the past, I've used a different um, yellow, but this to me is more of a, I think I was using before crushed curry maybe, let's see, which works too, but I like the brightness of the mango. So that's why I'm using that color instead. So let me show you this card. You guys are gonna go, oh, okay. Let me put that aside. So obviously, yeah, your mortar board, right? And we're Elkhorn. We're known as the Elks. Is that stinking cute? I just came up with that like two seconds ago, right before I came on. I was like, oh my God, I have to put Elks on there. So that's the mortar board. So here's the card. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you sitting down? Okay. Do, do, do. You're going to pull up the mortar board and hallelujah. Look at money. Now you could put, now I hope you're more generous than me. <laughs> Sage is only getting a buck. She gets a year living with us for free afterwards, right? So that should be enough. So we are, um, are gonna, obviously you can do a check in here. You could do uh, a gift card, whatever your heart desires, but look at, so Hold it. Now this doesn't fit in a normal size envelope. So you would have to make a bigger envelope for this because this is not the normal size. Uh, let me show you, I'm gonna grab, excuse my reach. So you can see the base is normal, but when you throw that mortar board in there, it's a it, it throws you off just a little bit. So, but you, I know a bunch of you guys have your own envelope boards making, you know, envelopes. So you could easily do your own, but you know what? It really doesn't need an envelope, does it? Because you open it, there's the, the gift, and you can always write your, whatever you'd like to say to the graduate on the back and then sign it. So isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, are you ready to learn how to make it? It's so easy. You're gonna just be like, okay, that's stupid easy. Okay, so I used, um, for this, this is the, playful alphabet dies that we sell um let's see let's see I guess I should have been a little bit prepared but I have not been like I got home Monday last Monday 
late and I had my in color club and I had to work all week. So I'm a little, um, little goofy. So it's called Playful Alphabet, $34. And you can see, can you see that where they now are adding like double letters for you? Um, so you don't have to, you know, like if you needed two E's, like you're trying to do a word and it's got two E's or two A's or two L's. Like I just did my Elks and I was able to run, you know, almost two whole words through with it. So they didn't have two K's, but I still was able to do a lot of that. So you get 58 dyes and it's only 34 bucks. It, it's really worth it. And look at how cute that is. Like, come on, that is super cute, right? So that's the playful alphabet die. All right. Um, and then I use this stamp set. It's called Best Year. And we don't really have a graduate. Um, there's dog hair. Sorry about that. But we don't really have a graduate um, stamp set this year for some reason. I'm not sure why. But I like the Hip Hip Array. And I liked the um, You Did It. And then I use the congratulations um, when you pull this open. You see the congratulations. That was from the Peaceful Moments stamp set that has the congratulations. So I thought that was really cute. And so then I just, you know, stamped them in the color. So I'm going to show you how to make a tassel too. Now, I kind of, um, I kind of, uh, was messing around with it and not the best, but you'll get you'll get the idea. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside. You only need three pieces of paper, all right? So I have pre-done those three pieces of paper. So this is the thick Whisper White, um, which I do recommend. You guys know, like, people are gonna be handling this and opening it, it's an interactive card. So you want to make sure it's gonna be sturdy, it's not gonna rip. That's why you're going to use sticky strip too or tear tape. Um, so this is a normal just half cut. You know, it's a full sheet of paper cut at four and a quarter. So it's four and a quarter by 11. And then this is just four and a quarter by four and a quarter, your mortar board piece. And this piece is four and three quarters by three and a quarter. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to do three uh scoring things and then we're going to be done so let's do that real quick the tassel is a little bit harder so we'll do the the card base first okay so i'm just going to get my trimmer scorer and please you guys share this away with people um you know i'm always working on building my business and would love to see new people come on in so i'm scoring this um four and three quarters by three and a quarter white piece. I'm scoring it at just a half inch. So you can see that's the half inch mark there. So it's just gonna have that little bit of something, something right there, okay? And then I'm going to take my bigger piece and my office is once again a disaster. I had it a little clean. So I'm gonna score this piece at seven. And I'm gonna close this up. It's, I just don't have enough room right here. Seven and at one and a half. And I'll put these measurements in the description after we're done here. Um, so there you go. Those are the three, huh, pretty easy, right? So we're gonna fold this, we're gonna fold that. So you can see that these all kind of, they, they hit right up against each other. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a, rub there and we'll do this one the same do a little bit of a rub okay put that back over there i think you can see that i know it's i can never really tell what you guys are seeing but say hello if you're out there hi penny i see christy uh let's see here i'm just checking checking Yes, Diana, go Elks. Did you graduate from, I'm guessing you graduated from Elkhorn. Okay, so those are our three pieces, really easy, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stamp this piece. So I'm opening it up, but just make sure that you stamp it going the right way. So I'm gonna take my, oops, I'm gonna take my Mango Melody and my Gorgeous Grape. And I'm gonna find my hip hip array. <laughs> so hip hip array, I'm just gonna kind of randomly stamp. Just 
put it wherever your heart desires. It's just kind of fun. We're hip hip hooray in, right? Um, I will need that again, so I'm just going to set that aside for right now. And I don't know what happened to my cleaning pad, so we will clean those later. And then you did it. I'm just going to kind of fill it in where we didn't get the hip hip hooray. Um, how about right there? Yeah, and maybe we can squeeze one in there. Yeah. This is good because I have a few people I have to give cards to. All right, I want to get that out of the way before I put my hand in that. And while I have my gorgeous grape out and my congratulations um, from the peaceful, what did I say it was? Peaceful moments, I think. Um, I don't remember. Yes, people, peaceful moments. I remembered. So I'm going to stamp this a little higher, right below your score line. Okay, beautiful. I love that font. Okay. And get that out of the way. So now we can assemble what we have. Um, you want to use tear tape again. And again, I made sure that I was stamping this so when it was closed, it was actually going the right way. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take tear tape and just run it along. Put it as far over on the edge that you can get it. And if you can do the whole piece, do the whole piece. If you don't, it's not that big of a deal. Like I don't have it all up right there. Um, move it all the way to the edge. Oops, that was close. And I have ink all over me now, that's all right. Um, okay, so then we wanna take another piece of tear tape and put it right there. So I'm putting it where it's scoring there. Um, you want it on that little flap because it's gonna fold in. This is actually the mechanism that's gonna, when you open the card, it pulls it up, okay? So you have that. So let's go ahead and put that into place. You know, the hardest thing is always <clears throat> getting the sticky, I keep calling it a sticky strip, the tear tape off of your project. So you kind of want to center it in on this flap, okay? And what I like about this card is well, number one, that it's super duper easy. But number two is, um, I wasn't quite centered, but I think I should be still okay, I hope. Ooh, I am not centered at all. So let's see if I can pull that off real quick. We might have to redo that. I was way off. Ooh, I am just hoofda. Okay. And I ruined that. So we're gonna do that again, I apologize. I didn't like how that looked. Um, I was fearful for its life. So let's do that another one. So this is four and three quarters. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, four and three quarters by three and a quarter. And then we're going to score it at one and a half. Okay, there we go. Again, sorry about that. And then we'll go ahead and re-stamp it with the congratulations. And try to not get your fingers in the inky. Beautiful. Beauteous. So did you guys do anything this weekend? Um, you know, I remember as a kid, I used to go... Uh, our, I went to Lions Center in Lions, Wisconsin, and we would walk to the, to the cemetery and we would put flags, those little flags on the, the veterans graves. So that was like a big, that was a big deal. I'm going to just wash my hands real quick because otherwise I think I will, well not wash them. I just need a baby wipe. Otherwise I will get ink on this card and then it will make me very angry. 
So sorry about that. Okay. So did you guys do anything for Memorial Day? Did you do anything like that? Go and um okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this a little up because I'm gonna cover up my my boo-boo. Okay. So again, we wanna kind of put it right in the center. I think I'm good this time. Yep. I'm gonna just press that in. Just covered up my mistake. And then what I'm gonna do, so normally what you would do is I just took a glue dot um, and I rolled it and put it in the center to put that money in there. I didn't bring another dollar with me to my desk. Um, but that's what you would do here. And then you're gonna take your tear tape off. And you can, you just want to make sure it's not going to hit that piece because you want that piece to slide easily, right? So there you go. And then it pushes down and you can see that your mechanism works by pulling it up. And you could, um, you know, after you, before you put your dollar or your dollar, your money or your check or whatever you're doing, you could write a little note there too. But like I said, the back of it um, is a good is a good place to do that. So there your mechanism is working there. So our base is done. So let's do our mortar board real quick. So we want to find the center of this mortar board. And all I did was I kind of, I think you can kind of see what I'm doing here. I took my ruler and this is four and a quarter. And all I'm gonna do is take a pencil and try to find my center. So my center would run along two and an eighth. So I'm just putting my ruler down at two and an eighth. And I'm just gonna hit like right here. And then I'm gonna turn it and do the same thing. And again, I'm just trying to find the middle of it at two and an eighth. And it might not be perfect, but that's all. So we just want that crosshair right there. <clears throat> and then we're going to take our pokey tool and go into the center. I'm just going to stick it through and I'm just going to kind of give it a little bit of rolly rolly to make room for the brad. Okay, so does that make sense? Let's do that because we're not going to see this side, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay. So we're, we're ready with the mortar board, but now we're gonna make the tassel. So this is these are some new things that we have in the new annual catalog. Uh, the, they're obviously round and square brads. Hi, Char. Uh, so they're white and black. And I actually, on this one, I chose a black one, but I think what I'll do now is I'll do a, a white now that, cause I was playing with the different tassels and I, was having I was struggling a little bit with it so I'll show you what I mean in a second here I'll show you my first attempt at a tassel which was very sad so I think with the white tassel the white middle would be better anyways so these are a great little thing to have in your stash uh, so if you don't have them I would definitely recommend that so the round and square brads they're brand new in this year's catalog all right I'm gonna take that out of the way okay so I made myself a little like template thing. This is three by three, um, just chipboard that I don't know I had laying around. Um, and now I'm gonna take some Baker's twine. Now I don't know if you saw this in the catalog, but we have now the Baker's twine essentials pack and you get five Baker's twines in this pack. So this is also a really nice thing to have along with you know your brads this is this is pretty common stuff um that you're gonna want to pull out of your stash every once in a while so watch me struggle as i do this you're my you're gonna go what uh, you could probably go buy one but i didn't have um time to go buy one so i thought i'm gonna make my own so again this is three by three and actually, um, I'm going to take a little sticky note and, and just hold that down 
because what I was finding is I needed more fingers than what I had. So I'm just gonna go around five times. Okay, I'm gonna bring it around actually six times. We'll do one more time. Now I'm gonna leave this piece to go around my brad. So I'm going to just cut that like that and I'm gonna leave it just kind of hanging out there. I'm gonna take some more Baker's twine. Uh, probably you want enough that it's gonna be as long as the three inches. Um, so I'm actually going to cut a longer piece because I'd rather have more than not enough and you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. So I'm gonna take this Baker's twine and get it underneath all of the, um, the strings that I just did. And I'm gonna tie it off at the top, but I wanna make sure this is even because I want those to be part of the tassel. That's why I wanted it a little bit longer. And if it was too long, I could cut it off. So then I'm just gonna, you know, I don't know how to do a square knot, but um, square knot probably is the better thing to do on this. But I'm just gonna tie it as tight as I can get it, okay? And then I'm gonna push it toward the top. So now these strings will become part of the tassel, okay? So it's all, it's tied together. So you're not gonna have little weird things going off and then I can just trim those, all right? And then I need one more piece to actually put it all together. So again, I'm gonna take a, a, a relatively long piece because again, I want this to add to the tassel as well. And that's where this little piece comes in here. So all I did is I cut out like a, a slot, <clears throat> excuse me, a slot, and I punched some holes here because I'm gonna use it like a threader. So I'm bringing the Baker's twine in there, and then I'm gonna bring it around to tie it off. So again, you want it to be pretty even when you do it. Uh, make sure it's all tight. Like these feel like to me like they're not real tight, so. Um, bear with me here. Of course, when you're trying to tie something in front of people, right? So I'm just tying it super tight, and then I'm gonna tie it again. Make sure you had all the, your, your pieces in there, because again, once that's tied off, it's gonna become part of the tassel, and I'll trim that down, and all you'll have sticking left is to go around the little brad, okay? So then I'm gonna trim. I think that I knotted that twice, right? I think I did. So I'm going to trim off the excess and then I'm gonna come through all of these and cut them. So now we have a little tassel and then I'm just gonna take slide it off of my piece here. Oh, I have to undo this too, otherwise it'll get angry. <laughs> So you could use painter's tape or a sticky. No, it just helps to, to keep it straight because when I tried to do it with just my fingers, yeah, it wasn't the best. So there now you have your little tassel, okay? Um, just make sure you have, you've caught all your, your things and I think I did on this one. I'll show you my first attempt. I wanted a gold, uh, it, I only had the gold <laughs> cording and it looks a little crazy. So I wasn't crazy about it because I couldn't make it lay, you know, flat like this. So the Baker's twine did seem to work a little bit better. Okay, so before I put my brad down, I am going to, you know what, let's put our Elks on first before I do that. Because then that way we have a flat surface to work with. So I pre-cut out Elks and like I said, I used the Playful Alphabet. And what I did is I used that adhesive sheets that we sell. And I know I've showed you guys that before. Let me get the goobers off of there. Um, this is probably the hardest part, is taking, <clears throat> taking the backing of this stuff off. I mean, you could absolutely use glue. Um, it's just with this stuff, it, it's like a sticker. So I'm going to 
do elks. I always feel like the E's upside down, but that's the way it is. And again, I've used a mango melody. What I like about this too is this mortar board is big enough that if you have, um, if you have a school like we're El Elkhorn area high, uh, Elkhorn area school district, and I thought about doing E A E A S D, but then I thought no, we go by the Elks. So um, you this is big enough where you could put the, you know badger or you know whatever. So I like that. Oh, and what I was going to say is what I like about this card is you can make it any color you want it. So if I had a Badger graduate, I could make it the the maroon and black or whatever they have, red and black that they have. Um, if it was a Darien, you know, they I think they're blue and yellow, aren't they? Uh, so that's the nice thing about this. You can make it any color you want. Again, I didn't come up with this idea. The gal that I saw do it, she did a black mortar board, but I thought, no, the kids, have, their mortar boards are, you know, usually colored now. So let's go ahead and finish this off. Oops. So now we're going to put the Brad back in here. Sure we are. And like I said, I'm not going to put it all the way down yet until I have this totally, because I'm going to wrap this around until um, until the bulk of it is underneath and then we're gonna trim it. So I'm pressing this brad all the way down and then I'm gonna get it. So, and then we'll just trim that off with my ribbon scissors. And there'll probably be a little left, but I'm just gonna take my pokey tool and poke it underneath so you can't see it and then I'm just gonna I'm pressing it down to make sure it's nice and tight on there and the one thing I wanted to do is you can see on this card my um my tassel is like staying in place because I used a glue dot so then it won't be flopping around so I think I'll do the same here but let's see first of all how we want this to sit so it's gonna sit like that. So do I want it to sit up and over this way or we, we can do it this way. So all I'm gonna do is take a glue dot and put it right about here and then take the fat part of the, the tassel and kind of set it off to the side there. So then it kind of like that, okay? And then to attach this, we're going to go back to our tear tape. And again, I'm using tear tape because people are going to be pulling on this. So you're going to lay your tear tape there. And you're going to lay your tear tape there. And when you put this down, you're going to put it down as a, as a diagonal. And then let me show you, I probably should have gone off the other side, shouldn't I? Well, I could turn it still, couldn't I? No. No, I should have gone off the other side because it's hanging into the card where this is hanging off the side of the card. Um, so don't do what I just did, but you, you know, make it your own. So you're going to use these corners as a guide with this to lay it f flat like that. Okay. So... So I'll show you what I mean. Like, see how corner to corner, so you want that butted right up against the sides, if that makes sense. All right, let's pull this off. You know, it seems like there's a lot going on here, but there's really not. It's just, you know, while I'm explaining it, honestly, I made this card in about 15 minutes when I'm not, you know, blah, blah, blah to you the whole time. Okay, so we want to just be really careful because, you know, this, the tear tape will stick and you will not have an option. Yeah, I should have. Well, maybe I'll turn it this way and then it'll be more off of the card. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. 
And see, I just messed it up again, everybody. Okay, there. So then you have the tassel coming off that side instead and the elk's on that side instead. So easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right, you guys? I mean, seriously. Three pieces of paper and this is what you're getting. Super cute. No money in that one. But that's it, you guys. I love it. Easy to do. Um, now go out and make some graduation cards because I know that you guys have graduations going on, whether it's college, high school, your grandsons, granddaughters, nieces, nephews, daughters, sons, you name it. Um, now you have a really easy card to do. And, you know, honestly, you can use anything here. Um, there's so many. You could just have stamped congratulations all over it. You wouldn't have needed to to have the you did it, hip, hip, hooray. Um, if you only have a congratulations stamp, just use the congratulations stamp. Um, so that's it, you guys. And just rem remember, if you want to join my team, it ends today. I will be around until um, 10 o'clock tonight if you have any questions about that. Because uh, you do have to get it submitted tonight. And um, tomorrow starts the big sale from the mini catalog. So go and get some good deals, you guys. And this is the new hostess code if you're going to go out there. SQY2J6HG. Thanks, you guys. I hope you had a beautiful Memorial Day. And thank you for spending some time with me. And thanks again for sending Sage and I to the beautiful island of Maui. Have an amazing week. Happy stamping.